Today I'm making some chipotle style carne asada burritos. Our boys love chipotle. Unfortunately, the closest one to us is over an hour away. So this is kind of a copycat recipe. What you'll need for the cilantro lime rice is a half of an onion, a clove of garlic, a half of a jalapeno, the zest of four limes, a bunch of cilantro chopped, the juice of four limes, four cups of long grain rice, and eight cups of water. For the rice, I have a big pot and I have a tablespoon of oil, the onion, jalapeno, and about a teaspoon of salt. I want to cook these onions until they're soft. I have the heat on low and I'm just going to take my time uh, with these onions because I want them to be really broke down. So we're going to print, we're probably going to cook them for 15-20 minutes. The onions look great. I just added the garlic and I cooked it for about 30 seconds. Now I'm going to add the water. I'm going to bring this to a boil. The water is boiling for the rice, so I'm going to add the rice. Give it a big stir. I'm going to cover the rice and turn the heat down to low and let this simmer for 20 minutes. It's been about 20 minutes, so now we're going to add the fresh lime juice, just kind of drizzle it all over the top, and also add the lime zest and the chopped cilantro. For the beans, um, I use the other half of the onion, a clove of garlic, a half of a jalapeno, and I have four cans of beans and two cans of diced green chilies. And then in a separate frying pan, I have a tablespoon of oil, the other half of the onion, the other half of the jalapeno, and about a half a teaspoon of salt. And I want these onions to start cooking down as well. They're going to be the base for the beans. Same thing with the onions for the beans. We're going to cook them for about 15-20 minutes on low. We'll stir occasionally. The onions for the beans looked good, so I added the garlic and I let it cook for about 30 seconds. I'm going to start adding all the beans and the green chilies. We're going to bring these beans up to temperature and then simmer them as the rice cooks. The beans are simmering away. They're looking really good. I can't wait till the weather gets a little cooler because I need to can some beans. I've been missing my canned beans. But um, okay, so we'll just let these keep simmering. I have this carne asada um, that I got at Trader Joe's. It's about a pound and a half for each package. And since I'm doubling the recipe for our family, I'm gonna use two. Ken is gonna go ahead and get these grilled up. Ken has the carne asada on the grill. The Trader Joe's brand is very good. I prefer to make my own carne asada. Um, I just haven't hit a sale on the meat yet but when I see a sale I'm gonna make a bunch of it and stick it in the freezer. The carne asada is finished on the grill so we're gonna get it off on a sheet tray and let it rest for about 10 minutes. Well that was perfect timing. The rice just finished cooking. I added the lime juice and cilantro. I'm letting it sit for 10 minutes and then Ken just came in with the carne asada. We're going to get it tented and let that sit for 10 minutes before we chop it up. I went ahead and I um, heated up some tortillas, a stack of them, over the open flame. We have our cilantro lime rice that smells so wonderful. We have our doctored up beans. They taste really good. We have some shredded cheese, sour cream, some salsa. Now this isn't as good as homemade. But uh, this fresh cilantro salsa from um, Sam's Club is actually pretty good. Some avocados, 
I cut up the carne asada into little pieces. And then we have some shredded lettuce in case some of the boys want to do a bowl instead of a burrito. Now just go ahead and make your burrito. This one's for Can. He wanted rice, beans, meat, cheese. I know he wants some um, avocado because he loves avocado. And my dog's in here too. <laughs> we'll put a little bit of... Oh my gosh. He's 15 years old. He's so spoiled. Our vet's like, I've never seen a dog that big, that old. <laughs> okay, we'll get this rolled up and then just kind of roll them up. There we go. I'm going to have the bowl. I just added a bed of lettuce and then put the rice, beans, meat, and then whatever toppings I prefer. And I wanted them all. <laughs> The cheese, the sour cream, guacamole, and the cilantro salsa. It's all good. I'm going to add a little bit of hot sauce, the Valentina hot sauce, right on top. Yum. So, as I mentioned before in the video, I doubled the recipe today. And it yielded 16 of these humongous burritos and four of the carne asada bowls. Now in the description box, I'm gonna put the original recipe. So that recipe should yield you eight burritos and two of the carne asada bowls. Now the carne asada bowls, if you don't know or aren't familiar with Chipotle, it has everything that's in the burrito except there's a bed of lettuce and no tortilla. So if you're, you know, like, a family like ours you know just go ahead and double the recipe like I did or if you're just like one or two people in your home maybe consider this recipe to entertain with you know tell your friends hey I'm making chipotle you guys bring the drinks you guys bring dessert and you guys do dishes <laughs> and they'll be happy to do it because this is way you know a lot more fun once you guys get the rice and the beans cooked you just make an assembly line and everybody can make their own burritos and put on what they want. It's a wonderful way to entertain or to feed a big crowd. And um, our boys, one of them, they've taken um, both, well, they've taken both the burritos and the bowls to school for lunches. And all their classmates are like, oh my gosh, you know, where did you get Chipotle? And they're all excited, you know? And then they say, oh, my mom made it. And they're like, oh, you know? <laughs> So they have Chipotle Envy, and um, but my boys love it. We are like a big fan of Chipotle, and this, I tell you what, this is a great copycat recipe. It tastes just like it. So that's what I have for you guys today, and you guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.